What type of things would be available for something like that? If you could give some concrete examples, I know that's what your call is there for, oh, but I really want to underscore the fact that everyone can use this because I completely agree with you. And I really want to try to get some more concrete out of some of those really high level tasks that almost anyone can tap into. Sure. The first one immediately, and by the way, I recommend Buy Back Your Time by Dan Martell. It's a really oh, yeah. great book, but I would start with everything administrative. So first and foremost is inbox. So it doesn't matter if you're a W-2 or you're 1099, just think about all of your inboxes. That would be your email, your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your uh, Instagram, like any inboxes where people are getting your attention. I would say, how could we organize, filter, and get that checked by someone that's not you? So that way, you're paring down the hundreds of people that are trying to get your attention to only maybe the 5% that actually need, you actually need, need to get your attention. So you're only looking at those. I think that's really important. And then what's what I would also say under that umbrella is training that who that is filtering and checking that, training them on how to respond and give people what they're looking for. Um, so that way you could even pare that down even more. So if they open it, for example, let's say a real estate deal comes across your desk and it goes into your inbox and you're like, I only want deals that fit this criteria. Anything that fits this criteria, then send to me and I'll respond. If it doesn't fit this criteria, then respond to them using this template that says, thank you for reaching out. This is Derek's assistant, this is not the current deal that we're looking for at the moment. But if you find something that fits this criteria, please be sure to send that my way. I'd love to take a look at that. Thanks, Carl, Derek's assistant, something like that. So now we can build out a playbook on how your assistant could respond as you for you, just not by you. And the only thing that's getting your attention are things that fit in the criteria that you suggest. Same thing with calendar management. If you have anyone that's trying to get on your schedule, as far as appointments go, I would want to make sure that I have some sort of boundaries and playbook in place for how does someone get my schedule? So if someone pick calls you a lot, if you find yourself answering the phone frequently, I would try to put in some sort of buffer there. So that way it doesn't, number one, either it doesn't ring your phone, it rings like a different phone number and have an assistant answer that phone. So use like a cloud phone number as a buffer. Or if someone calls you, just have a template, of text that says, hey, I'm in a meeting right now, how can I help you? And then have a link based upon what they need. So that we use, oh, okay, you want to talk about blank. Here's a scheduling link to get on my schedule to have a conversation around that topic. And then eventually when you build it out from your, if it's from your like iMessage, again, you build that out on your iMessage, move it over to a cloud-based phone number. So that way your assistant can have that conversation on the cloud phone number versus the bottleneck being you on your iPhone as an example. These are a couple that come to mind immediately. The third one I'll give you is using some sort of outreach. So if you're reaching out, doing mess, direct messages or lead gen or emails, or like you're trying to get on podcasts, or you're trying to get cold leads on your calendar, or you're trying to nurture relationships with clients and you want to take them out for coffee, I would have your virtual assistant use put your writing style and your tone into AI. So that way they could get what your tone and your writing style is and do some outbound messages, outbound texts, outbound emails on your behalf in your tone and in your writing style. And this is something we train all of our team on how to do for all of our clients. So that way you can have someone be outbound messaging, text, email, or social media messaging as you, for you, just not by you. That could potentially help you fill up your schedule, help you with nurturing prospects, or even doing some cold outreach and generating new leads for your business. <clears throat> those are a couple like no filter and I can obviously go into more, but those are some right off the top of my head. 